Hello everyone. In this video I will show you a different setup with my free bifiler coils. And as you can see I have printed some holders so I can place my free coils vertically and I can also adjust their distance from each other very easily. And this will be important for the next experiments I will show you. So for the beginning I will show you quick the schematics of this setup. It's the same as last time. The only difference is that I have added two outer coils and these are not physically connected to my circuitry. And these outer coils are basically connected in series, meaning the inner rim of this coil is connected to the outer rim of this coil. And the remaining open two ends are here connected with my green and yellow cable. And what you can see on the oscilloscope is basically just what the probe picks up when it is laying right here. So the probe is not physically connected to the circuitry. And also the power input is around 13 volts at 0 0.05 amps around that. And what I'm going to do now is I will show you a bit um, of experiments that I did yesterday with this setup and basically I am visualizing what or how the field of this setup reacts when I do certain things. So what I've done here is I've connected a small neon bulb to um, the output of one of these two coils that are connected in series. Remember they are not connected physically to the system, they are just powered wirelessly by the middle coil that is pulsed. So I've only connected one end, the other end the yellow cable is just laying here, it's not connected anywhere. And if I touch it, I hope you can see this on the camera quite well. Yeah, like this, it lights up. And what I've seen from experimenting is that if I bring my hand close to here, it lights up even stronger. I hope you can see this quite well on the camera. And what I'm going to do now is I'm adjusting the positioning of these coils. And this influences how the field of the system itself um, is manifested. So as you can see, if I move this coil closer to the other one, um, the light goes out. But what happens if I take my left hand, my right hand is holding this end, and if I come with my right hand here, you will see it lights up. And depending on how close I am, the stronger it lights up. So basically my body is acting as a conductor for this dielectric field. And yeah, this is a pretty neat trick to kind of visualize um, how far the field reaches out from these coils and yeah, how the field manifests depending on where I position the coils. If I put the other one also closer to it, you will see it almost doesn't light up. You won't see it on the camera, but now the distance or the reach is further away from the coil where it still lights up when I come closer with my hand, like this. So this is a pretty cool trick to visualize the field. And now let's remove the coil a bit again. And you will see it will light up even if I don't put my left hand to it. 
and also if I put the left hand to it, it will light up more stronger. And what also happens is because the uh, neon bulb is connected to the outer end of this coil, so the high potential is here. If I get my hand closer to this coil, the light will go out. So it does basically the opposite of when I come here closer. And what I found out is when I place my hand in between, um, it will give me a kind of a, yeah, a, a static electric feeling. So the hair on the back of my hand will kind of react to the field like as if you had some um, clothing with plastic fibers on it, then your hair will also get attracted. And this is kind of the same feeling you get because we are dealing here with um, high voltage of static electricity or also called dielectricity. And for the next test, what I'm going to do is basically the same. So I have here a small one watt LED. So they are small, but actually pretty um, strong because one watt is actually a lot for a small LED. So if you look directly in them, it will actually blind you for a few minutes. And for this to light up with only my body, I have to place these coils um, directly to each other. And now it doesn't even want to light up. I don't know why. Last time it did. But anyways, what I'm going to show you now is if I connect both ends to it, it will light up quite strong. And now I connect it like this. And depending on how, maybe hold it in the camera, depending on how far I move away the coils, also the strength goes down. Same on the other side. And so you can determine the strength of the field depending on how far the coils are apart from each other. And I found out a bit of distance is uh, um, for the LED setup not the best. They, they want the coils to be very close to each other. But for other setups it will be more beneficial if the coils have some distance to it. And I've also got another field viewer. For this I don't need the connections so from my coils so they are not connected anymore. I just leave them here and what I have here is my LED ring with a copper coil connected like you saw in the last videos and this is also a quite good tool to visualize the field so what I'm going to do is I will move the camera a bit to the side so you can see a bit better what I'm doing here. And if I come over here, you can see quite the range where it lights up. I can also slide it in like this and it will light up. also like this and of course also from the other side which is when let me take the camera when I do this from the other side you will see it will not light up at all when the coils are close together but when I remove uh, when I put a bit of distance to the coils like here then the field changes drastically and it will light up again. Let me put it close here 
and it will stop lighting. But if I add some distance, it will light up again. And this is pretty interesting, I think. So, also it will work like this. And if I put the coils close, it won't work anymore. So the distance between these coils is quite important because yeah, as you could see, the field in general changed a lot from, yeah, I would say, what would you call it, the size of the field or how far it extends changes. So now I've removed them a bit from each other, added a distance of roughly like five centimeters from each coil to coil. And I found out when I do this, the field extends pretty far and it doesn't even matter from which side I place the LEDs, they will always light up. Or they will do this very bright. Same here. So I basically use this tool as a field viewer because as you can see on the oscilloscope, if I move the camera again a bit, adjust it like this. Um, as you can see on the oscilloscope, if I stop the signal for a second, you can yeah, get an idea of how the field looks on a graph, but for me uh, it is just more easier to visualize what's going on when having something actually um, visually lighting up so you can determine how far the field reaches out and what changes if you change the geometry of the system by changing the distance of the coils. And yeah, I think that is basically it for this video. I just wanted to show you this kind of tricks that you can do with these coils and also for the finish I will take the screen neon bulb. I hope this can be seen on the video quite clear. And I will also do the same things again. It gets brighter when I do this. When I place my hand on this side, so my body is conducting the electricity and if I come closer here, it gets weaker. Same goes for here. And I place them tighter together. Right and gun. Maybe behind black background you can see it better. So it's interesting to see how the body can um, conduct high voltages very well without any damage or that I really feel anything and uh, to show you what kind of high voltages we are dealing with I will just shortly let me adjust the camera first I will just shortly connect the probe of my oscilloscope to one of the high voltage leads and yeah like this and what you can see on the oscilloscope, it goes far above the range of 4 kilovolts that it can show. We have 500 volts per division. And yeah, I, I don't know how high the voltage is actually, but it's definitely way higher than 4 kilovolts. And but there is no or almost no current behind it. And that is why it is safe to touch and to handle. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and have a nice day. Goodbye.